Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to be multiplying fractions and mixed numbers, uh, and we're going to be thinking about pounds and ounces as we convert from one unit of measurement to another. Uh, we're in our math journal on pages 258 and 259, weights of state birds, so let's just jump right in. Problem number one, A and B, are basically a pair of input-output problems, uh, function tables. Uh, so I need to multiply the number of pounds by the number of ounces per pound. So in 1A, all I have to remember is that for every pound, I have 1 pound, LB, equals 16 ounces, OZ. Okay, so when I'm uh, solving for the number of ounces, all I have to do is I have to multiply the number on the left times 16. Of course, 1 times 16 is 16. If I were to multiply 3 times 16, that would be just like adding 16 plus 16 plus 16. And that, of course, gives us 48. So just multiply the number in the left column by 16. Now, you would do the same thing in 1B. Multiply the number in the left column by 16. However, here we're dealing with fractions of a pound. So we need to multiply the number 16 by a fraction. Now if you recall, when we multiply a number, a whole number, by a fraction, 16 times 1 half, one of the ways we think about that is that we are repeatedly adding 16 groups of 1 half together. Now I'm not going to write that out, that's going to take too long. However, there is a simpler way to approach it. So all you're going to do is you're going to take that whole number here and you're going to multiply it by the numerator, that top number. So what is 16 times 1? Well, of course it's 16. So what would that be as a fraction? Well, 16 halves would be 16 over 2, 16 halves. Now, another way of thinking about 16 halves is 8 wholes because when I have an improper fraction like that, in order to figure out how many whole numbers I can get out of that, I would take my denominator, halves, or 2, and divide the numerator. And in this case, it's 16. How many groups of 2 can I get out of 16? Well, since I know that 8 times 2 is 16, I can get 8 groups. So how many ounces is half a pound? Well, if 16 ounces is 1 pound, that would be 8 ounces. So that's what you would do. You would multiply that fraction by 16 using the formula and the strategy that I just demonstrated here. Now once we get into the story problems, we have to use our knowledge of multiplication and fractions and mixed numbers to uh, solve these problems. So let's look at number 2. The yellow hammer is the state bird of Alabama. If a yellow hammer weighs one-fourth of a pound, what is, what is the weight of six yellow hammers? So first we have to look at this problem, and let's use ruckus as our strategy to break it down. Ruckus, of course, is we're going to read the problem multiple times. We're going to underline the question. We're going to circle important information come up with an action plan, and then solve it. Now this problem right here, whoops, has two parts. So there's going to be two questions and two solutions. So the first question is, what would be the weight of six yellow hammers? Okay, now it would be important to know that a yellow hammer weighs a quarter of a pound. So what we have to do here is we need to multiply one-fourth times six. So I'm going to use the space below it to do my scratch work. So it's going to be 6 times 1 fourth. Now, I'm again just going to multiply the top number, the numerator, by my whole number, 6. So 6 groups of 1 fourth is equivalent to 6 fourths. Okay, so that would be another way of thinking of this is one whole and two fourths pounds. Okay, because 
I can get one group of four out of six that leaves me two left over. So my answer for my first problem is one and two fourths pounds. Now the second question is, is that more or less than 30 ounces? So again, what I need to do is figure out how many ounces is one and two fourths. Well again, with my knowledge of equivalent fractions, I remember that if I have two fourths of a whole, two fourths is equivalent to one half. As you can see, as I reframe this fraction into halves. So one and two fourths is equivalent to one and one half pounds. And if you recall, we just figured out that half of a pound is eight ounces. So if I remember that there are 16 ounces in one pound and eight ounces in half a pound, if I add those two numbers together, six plus eight gives me 14, carry the 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, that's a total of 24 ounces. So the second question is, is that more or less than 30 ounces? Well, that would be less than 30 because it's only 24 ounces. Now let's look at one part of one more problem real quick. What is the combined weight of three four and three eighths pound nenes from Hawaii and two seven and five eighths pound brown pelicans from Louisiana? So there's a lot of parts to this problem here. I'm just going to start off with one section of this problem, and that is figuring out how much three, four, and three eighths pound nenes from Hawaii would weigh. So combined weight. So three, four, and three eighths pounds. Okay, so my problem is going to be three times this mixed number, four and three eighths. Now again, a mixed number is a whole number and a fractional component put together. So I'm going to use my strategies for multi-digit multiplication to solve this. So one way I could solve this is doing uh, partial products. Uh, and the way I would do that is I would rewrite the problem like so. Four and three eighths times three. And then underneath the, the problem, I would write the parts. 4 times 3, and then I would multiply 3 eighths times 3. And then once I come up with each of those partial products, I would add all the products together. So 4 times 3, of course, is going to give us 12. 3 eighths times 3, well, this, I'm going to multiply the numerator, like we've done before, by the whole number, so 3 times 3, that would give me 9, and that would give me 9 eighths, 9 eighths of a pound. Now 9 eighths, of course, is an improper fraction, and you could probably just see it by looking at the fraction, that I can get one group of 8 out of 9, because 9 is just one more than 8. So 9 eighths, another way of thinking about that would be one whole and one eighth left over. 9 minus 8 is 1. So I have one group of 8 eighths and one eighth left over. So now I would just combine these two partial products to give me my total product. 12 plus 1 and 1 eighth. Well, I have no more fractions, so it's I just bring down the 8th, and then 12 plus 1 would give me 13. So, how would I solve this problem altogether? Well, I would take 12, 13 and 1 8th, that's the nene's weight, and then I would combine, combine is a fancy way of saying add, add the weight to what 2 and 7, 2 groups of 7 and 5 eighths pounds would be. So you would add those two weights together. Okay? Try these problems out. If you have questions, reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again tomorrow. Thank you.